What does it take to catch a fish of a lifetime? So it all starts with the dream. And once you have that dream, you gotta come up with the plan. We're going on a little adventure today, and let me show you what I'm unpacking. Passport. Plenty of video equipment. Can't forget the fishy underwear. And once you have that plan, you move on to the next step. I think the most exciting part of traveling is getting up early in the morning, you're all packed up, and uh, the anticipation of driving to the airport. But the hardest part, I think, is saying goodbye. So our adventure began in Orange County, where I met my friends DJ and Yvonne and drove to the CBX, which is the border between California and Mexico. We walked into Tijuana and flew from the Tijuana airport to our final destination, Cabo San Lucas. Cabo is a popular vacation destination and a well-known spot to catch one of the most prized and coveted fish by fishermen around the world, the Pez Gallo, or better known as the rooster fish. Rooster fish are known for their distinctive dorsal fins that look like a rooster comb and is truly a rare and exotic catch that is considered a bucket list fish for many. The idea for this trip was birthed at the offices of Phoenix Rods where I told my friend Lee about the 50 pound rooster I had caught about 5 years ago and when he asked if we could catch one if we went there, I said sure, no problem. But the fact of the matter was that catching one of these prized fish was not going to be an easy task. But this was our dream for the trip, to catch a rooster fish and we were going to do whatever it took to try and get one. We had the dream, we had the plan, but the question was, could we execute the plan and bring it to reality? We arrived in Cabo and met up with Lee, had dinner, got settled into our hotel, and got ready for our first day, hunting for rooster fish from the Cabo surf. Oh, what's up guys? It's uh, 4.55, woke up before the alarm. It's uh, time to go, it's rock and roll. I'm bringing in 30 minutes. So our guide, Martin, from Shore Fishing Baja, picked us up at the hotel and off we went to our first location at the beach. He gave us a few pointers as we were using much, much heavier gear. Back at home, we use maybe 9 to 10 foot rods at the most. Out here in Cabo, you use 12 to 13 foot rods and we we're throwing stick baits and various lures that are 2 to 3 ounces, maybe 4 ounces in size compared to the less than 1 ounce lures that we throw back at home in Southern California. But after that, we were on our own and off to the races and here's a little introduction of what I see on my second time fishing from the surf in Cabo. I've never been to this beach before, but surf fishing is the same. Find the structure, find the fish, it's the same deal. So I'm using uh, Martin, our guide's reel here. I don't have anything this big at home. This is a Shimano Twin Power 14,000, I believe. We're pairing that with the Phoenix Black Diamond 1535 with a 13-foot rod rated 2 to 6. And so uh, we're going to try throwing it out with this thing, and we're going to try to get bit and see what happens. Uh, um, suspending uh, slow sinking and we're just gonna work it in just provide a steady action to it and while you retrieve what you can do is you can give it a little pause and get that thing to get that thing to stop and uh, my first time here fishing Cabo I'm gonna caught a 50 pound rooster fish the bait's bo boiling right over it we just gotta get something to bite Oh, on! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, oh! Oh, he fell off! It's pretty good fish too. Got that bite, guys, that addiction. Just to show that we're doing something right. Now we just need one more bite. All right, man. So last night, last night, you guys saw me blog um, in the room uh, about the pressure and stress I had. All stoke aside, there was just this pressure of putting fish, you know, uh, sharing the sand, and we did it. I got bit once, um, but man, we struck out. So yeah, we gave it everything we had. Uh, Martin, our guide, uh, took care of us and uh, did everything he possibly could to put us on fish, but sometimes, uh, the conditions don't line up, the water's a little cold. So, not, not to despair, 
we're gonna keep fishing. We're here to fish and we're gonna fish hard. We're not even gonna rest. We're not even going back to our hotel room. We're jumping straight on a ponga and we're gonna tug on some fish. So stay tuned. When we jump it, we're gonna be right there. Fish is this? We got a little cabby ethos, they call it. What size hook is that? It's pretty big. Uh, probably like an eight. Like an eight, size eight hook. And we hook it up there. And that keeps a real free little thread that they put on there. Keeps them alive. Here's the cast. Yep, just flip it out. Take it out about 40 yards. Free spool it. The key to this is what uh, DJ was showing me and what the boats are teaching me. Once that fish eats it, you gotta let him eat it. That's the biggest thing. These are big baits. And so once they put it in their mouth, you gotta let them get it all the way down before you do anything. So once you feel that fish going, let it free spool. And when they start shooting out, like DJ taught me, wait a good seven seconds and wait for them to fully commit to them and have it in their mouth. Then you engage and then you reel into it. We're using circle hooks. So no need to swing like bass masters, you know, <laughs> so, no need to do that. Just pressure and the uh, fish will hook itself if you do it right and if you get a little lucky. So. I'm not even gonna mince words, guys. It's been a really tough trip. Uh, one thing that I will say for sure is we're not quitting and we're just gonna keep casting and getting our lines out there and seeing what happens. So uh, we did catch a yellow tail today. Hopefully it's not a yellow tail. And that was really cool. Lee got that one in and uh, we even ate it at the restaurant, which is a really, really neat experience. And it was really, really tasty too. So look at this, this is like perfect. It's still a little bit undercooked inside, which is what you want. So the yellow tail gets super tough. Super legit, super legit. I don't normally eat my yellow tail cooked, but I'd eat this, it's good. And uh, right now at this point, it's just all about just pivoting. It's uh, doing whatever we need to do to get a fish on the board. We're gonna keep going out there and hope, hopefully tomorrow will be a good day. I'm gonna try to get some rest. It's not even nine o'clock yet and uh, gotta get up at five o'clock in the morning and uh, get ready to grind it out. So stay tuned. Now Boy? Yeah, he was coming in, he was close. Yeah. How do you feel, Benny? Woo! <laughs> hey, three days, just rocking up and down. All we want is a little bit of a tug, man. This is what it's all about right here, and this is why we fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's try to get this guy in the boat, though, man. It's not yeah. over, definitely. Long way to go. Yeah. yeah, there you go, there you go. Take it, take it. Finish it off, finish it off. How does he feel, Lee? I feel so powerful. He's big, huh? I feel high big. Yeah, dude. Right here, three days. Just for this one moment. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Finish it, finish it. Take your time. Wow, this is not my run. Dude, right? I started getting tired and tired when you, when you hand the ball. Yeah, take it, take it. I don't want to yeah. lose it, dude. <laughs> I thought the rooster fish was about the same as Yellowtail. It's totally different. Not even close, huh? Yeah, not even close. Yeah, it was Because I just caught a yellow tail yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's oh, that? Oh, no, a big shark. It's a shark? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's circling, dude. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. There's a shark coming for the rooster, guys. Come back. Come back. We go with the shark. He's tired. Yeah, maybe you should ask him to slow me down. Don't let this thing out of the water. I know. Oh, oh, beautiful fish. Wow. How big do you think that is? That's young? big. 30, Woo. Wow. Oh, hi, Pia. That's the biggest one I've seen down here. Great. Oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. Let's go, Lee. Let's go. Yeah. Finish it, baby. Let's go. 
Wow! Oh. Alright, guys, be careful. Step back. Real careful there. Woo! Alright, let's get it. Feel that. They're clocking it. 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 They're cloc